and hello. How are you today? It's Daisy Foss here with Paul Foss playing the harmony and I'm here with Merlin and the Angels to invite you for a meditation just for 11 minutes to be able to bring in your angels, to connect with them, ready for this next cycle of light through this super blue moon. My goodness me, it's going to be such an incredible moon. Uh, it starts, um, at, it, well, it's 2 a.m. tomorrow, so it's really, really, really in, um, full on. And it's already started. I don't know about you, but I haven't been able to sleep. Um, lots of people have been calling me and saying, my God, what's been going on? Um, and it really is, it's a shift, something's happening, and it really is transforming you from the old into the new. So thank you, Paul. Wonderful. We'll hear a bit more from him in a minute. Um, and so it's transforming you from the from the old, from the old blueprint, the carbon blueprint, and taking you into the gold print, this new gold print for the golden age of Aquarius, and really, really setting you up for this new vibration, this new frequency. And you can see it everywhere, all around you. Things are just falling away, falling away, and uh, new things are coming in into the, into annoyance or into into uh, causing friction and um, anger and really, really unifying people in a way that hasn't happened for a long time. Uh, here in London, we have the Eulers, um is issue and situation, and it just really is so unfair. It, it wasn't voted in. I don't want to get political, but it's just one of the things that is happening at in the moment, at the world, in the world, at the moment, and it really is up to you and me and everybody else to stay centered, to stay in that place and space of the heart of you being centered, you knowing what you want your energy to be, and you want your energy to be of the highest frequency, of the highest light, clear as clear can be. And that may mean letting go of a few things, may mean reframing a few things, looking at things in a different light, reviewing, because that's what the full moon, this full moon is all about. And it's just washing through your energy fields, it's just washing and clearing and and really really releasing look what's happening with the typhoon the tornado um in america um and it's really bringing in that force of nature that energy of change so here in my house in this space a metatron's called this space avalon he said everything in here is from avalon so call your attic room where you work from Avalon. So here I am in my very own Avalon. And that's the point, isn't it? You can be wherever you want to be. You don't have to be in Egypt to be in Egypt. And you don't have to be in Glastonbury to be in Glastonbury. And it's wherever your heart is, wherever you are, bringing in your angels, bringing in your full potential of your full energy field. So are you ready? Are you ready for this? Whoa, I am, certainly am. Things are changing so quickly. It's all about being earthed, being grounded, being anchored so that you can really feel how solid you are in the moment and how you can witness this stuff going on around you and either engage with it or step out of it completely. So we are going to, uh, to step into this space and place of love, the place and space in your heart. I'm holding Marina here, Marina, my aquamarine, and she is absolutely beautiful. She's also very, very wise. She holds the energy of the Egyptian priestess Ashu, and we're holding that light, we're holding that love. And as we hold that at our heart and bringing in Gaius, Merlin's teacher, this is the male aquamarine with the muscovite all over it. And as you hold on to this, at, I'm holding it at my sacral chakra, sending out this energy of love, sending out this energy of light. So I'm just going to, to take a breath. And as we take a breath, breathing in the light. Breathing in the love, breathing in the life, 
because your breath, your breath is the vehicle. It's your infinite love flowing through your breath. Your breath, your oxygen oxygenates your whole body. And as it flows through your whole body, your breath is your intention. And as you breathe, breathing in this light, breathing in this love, breathing in this life. And as you breathe in this life, just feel the energy flowing now. It comes in through from your crown, from the top of your head right through to the tip of your toes. And from the tip of your toes up through Mother Earth. And this is where it comes in through from Mother Earth to your heart, through from your root chakra. So the 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 Ayurvedic way of the of the Indian way of the chakras is that the number one chakra is at your root chakra coming all the way up to your crown and that the Egyptian counting is that it comes in through your crown and that's your number one chakra. So the Egyptians come down from the sun, from the great central sun right down to the heart of Mother Earth and the Ayurvedic Indian way, yogic way is to come up through and both of them are correct because they're bringing this flow of energy of light bringing the angels the angels of awakening the angels of the elohim the omniphim the seraphim the cherubim all of the angels from all the realms just call them in they're here they're wanting to help to guide you and that's what we're doing every wednesday we connect with the angels we bring them in for you for the world for absolute humanity for the work to be done here to really really bring in a smooth transition through this full moon into the next cycle so if you're ready this beautiful light now are you ready just going to, to close my eyes and breathe in the light as we open the crown the thousand petals at your crown the thousand petals chakra and as the petals open the energy flows from the great central sun through your light channel your love channel this pillar of light this column of love as it flows with ease and with grace merlin's grace just feel the energy as it flows breathing in the light As you build up this column of light, this pillar of love in the very center of your heart, this golden flower of your heart chakra opens all 12 petals on the first layer, radiant and strong, radiating this light from the center of your heart. You have 12 layers of 12, and there's 144 petals of your heart open with ease and with grace into this space and place of love this golden light of the divine and as it opens step into your heart step into this space and place of love the golden flame of divine love where you connect with mother father god this beautiful light radiant and strong and as you Breathe in this golden light. It reactivates all of your body, your cells, filling each cell with this light, with this new infinite love from the great central sun, bringing this light through your body. Just breathe, breathing the angelic light, breathing the angelic love, breathing the angelic light. And as you breathe into the center of your being, the golden light expands through from your physical body, out through your emotional body, 
your mental body, your karmic body, your spiritual body, all your bodies, your etheric bodies and beyond, right through to the causal layer. And as it expands through to the causal layer, to your astral plane, in the center of your heart, this violet indigo purple light arises. This purple light, this light of Merlin, dissolving, resolving, releasing, and letting go on every level, every plane, every dimension of your being, really clearing, cleansing, dissolving, resolving, releasing. And as with every breath, breathing in the light, this divinity, this pure light, and as you release, letting go of anything that is frustrating you, anything that is making you angry, letting go of the anger, letting go of the frustration, letting go of the old way of thinking, reframe your thinking and as we let go with ease and with grace with Merlin's grace this beautiful light now dissolving and resolving on every level every plane and every dimension of your being and it, as this ultraviolet light fills this space and place with love just feel the ultraviolet light really filling all of the spaces, just the energy just flowing now, just coming up in your heart like a fountain of love. And as this ultraviolet light clears and cleanses the unmanifest, that which you are unaware of, that which, is, which you're not conscious to yet, just letting and trusting that it will dissolve, dissolve and resolve. And in the very center of this ultraviolet light is the emerald green healing light of your sacred heart. Stepping into the center of your sacred heart and in this space and place of love is the pearl of your heart the pearl of your wisdom, stepping into this space and place of love and breathing. Breathe the one breath of creation, the one breath of the universe, this universal light creating love, creating all of the new gold print within your being. And as you breathe in this light, the light of your infinite love, and as you breathe in this white light, this beautiful pearlescent white light, and in this space and place of love, as you connect with your angels, the angels of the Elohim, the Omnifim, the Seraphim, the Cherubim, the angels of awakening, the angels of Avalon, the angels of Atlantis, the angels of alchemy, the angels of the angles, the angels of awareness, the angels of ascension, all the angels of awakening through the angels of the age of Aquarius, these golden angels of Aquarius. I'm holding the selenite now as this selenite light really connects through to Archangel Raphael, Mikael, Shamuel, Uriel, Jophiel, Zadkiel, Metatron and Melchizedek, all of these angels now bringing this light as the sounds of the harmony as we just breathe in this light, breathe in the angels as you listen to the sounds of the harmony.
the different colors flowing through your body, all the different archangels. angel light going to exactly where it's required in your body breathe it into any hurts any aches any pains any problems any anything that is requiring this angel light as we, re we as we transform these problems into solutions asking the angels for guidance for guidance to the next step forward the next pathway to your being as you accept and surrender into this place and space of this golden light this golden space and place of love and as you breathe it in breathing this light breathing this love the golden age of Aquarius is upon us and we are in it and we can hold on to the sides of this flow of energy and get bashed or we can let go and go with the flow or we can swim upstream in the light like the salmon do so as you make a choice are you hanging on to the edge to get bashed or are you going to let go and flow and trust that you end up in the perfect space that is there by divine right or are you going to choose where you want to go through the light following the light swimming in the light and as the angels are here they'll stay with you for as long as your intention is such these beautiful angels just radiant and strong beautiful gold and white angels of the angels of awakening the angels of ascension the angels of the golden age and as you gently come back into your body wiggling your fingers wiggling your toes and as you wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes being aware of where you're sitting or standing or lying being aware of your body where the energy is flowing through your body and as you wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes come fully back into the moment into this moment right now take a breath <sighs> and a breath <sighs> and one more <sighs> beautiful grounding earthing and anchoring oh that was lovely paul thank you so much really this just the angel wave there thanks yay i'm holding these selenite sticks metatron has uh, ordered me actually he, he made it really clear that i was to hold on to selenite sticks um when i'm meditating when i am sleeping um these sticks are are really really helpful and they are the, how the angels can really get flow through you so if you've got some selenite that's the crystal to hold over this full moon and of course the full moon it's the angel light of the full moon this silver light that really will if you can stand out in it tomorrow night that would be amazing so my name's daisy foss and if you want to know more about the angels of awakening then go to my website i think i've got a new 
workshop coming up. It's actually a course. It's a four week course. So that would be lovely if you'd like to join that. Otherwise, if you'd like to have a healing, I'm around in person in Barnes on a Monday and Tuesday or any time by Zoom. Love to hear from you. Got lots of spaces for healing right now. So everyone's on holiday. So get in there quick if you'd like to have a healing with me. That's an Angels of Awakening healing, a Vortex healing, Reiki healing or an NLP session of the Neuro Linguistic Programming. And um, I'm going to also be in Harrogate. Oh my goodness me. Paul and I are going to Harrogate for the Health and Wellbeing Show. It is on the Saturday. Uh, I think it's the 9th, 10th and 11th. Uh, don't quote me, but it's that weekend and I'm doing two talks. I'm talking about the Angels of Awakening, Ascension and the Golden Age of the Angels. So I'd love it if you could join me there in Harrogate. It's the first time I've been to Harrogate, so I think it's going to be quite a wonderful experience and I'd love you to be there. I will also be selling quite a few of my um, angels and angel crystals. So I'm just trying to see which one I'm going to let go of. Things like, like the angel candle, that sort of thing. These sort of things will be um, on the stand at the Harrogate show. So I look forward to seeing you again next week and be careful out there. Um, enjoy this new energy. Really stay in the moment. Be as centered as you can and uh, enjoy the flow. Go with the flow. Mwah. Lots of love and see you next Wednesday. And thank you so much for watching. Namaste.